All right, guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're taking a look at the Voltron 84 Classic Black Lion. So let's go ahead and move this guy out of the way. Take a look at the box real quick. Then we'll get the box out of the way, move the camera forward a little bit, zoom in on the black line. So as you can see here, we've got Voltron 84, 60 plus phrases and sound effects. Got the original Voltron right here. This is the Voltron I grew up with, that many of you grew up with. We've got the black line here. Classic legendary black line. Form 16 inch classic Voltron. Combine all five lines. Keith is the leader of the Voltron Lion Force and pilot of the Black Line. He is an expert pilot who develops the battle strategies for Voltron Force. And there's some of the phrases that uh, he says, uh, from days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe, a mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. Uh, www.playmatestoys.com, www.voltron.com. 20 points of articulation. All right, so there's the top. There's one side. There's the other side. There's the bottom, as you can see. Collect all five lines to form classic Voltron. Uh, when I was at Target yesterday getting this guy, they had all of the other lines except for red line. I could have gotten the other lions, but I decided to wait. I wanted to test something out first. And I will show you that after I review the black lion. So let's go ahead and move this off to the side. Bring in black lion. This is a really good depiction of black lion. Uh, I had the original, the very original, black lion as a kid it was the only voltron lion i had but we moved around a lot and i eventually lost him and i was heartbroken my favorite toy and i didn't think i'd ever be able to get another one because they're so expensive on ebay and amazon and all that and then even with like some of the die cast ones or some of the third party voltrons way out of my price range but this this guy was perfect when i heard they were coming out with voltron 84 figures first time i saw one was on caveman reviews channel if you if you haven't heard of him go check him out he does a lot of voltron dragon ball z thundercats and transformers uh toys probably one of the best transformers reviewers on youtube right now but do that after you watch this video so anyway i had to have him as you can see, his head goes up and down, and that's mainly for his Voltron transformation. It can turn side to side, do that head tilt, okay, and the legs can go that far forward, they can go back with the leg extended like that um, but it could go to there and that's mainly for Voltron transformation all right now we got that out of the way all right the legs the thigh is as far forward as it's gonna get but there is a thigh swivel on a ratchet, which is nice, which is for the Voltron transformation. The knee, the top, the upper knee, I'm sorry, can go back to there. It can go forward that far. However, the most natural cat stance I've found is to have it looking about like that. Uh, most cats, you know, their their thighs be forward like that, and that's for their how they run. Um, but you can't do that with this Voltron because his belt piece here is in the way. So if you move it just like that, and then have that upper knee about like that, 
with the lower knee facing back, forward, just like that, you have a good looking cat stance. I've seen other YouTubers with Voltron having their cat, having their lions just like that. That doesn't, that just doesn't look right to me. I like them to look like cats. Okay. So there's that. And the legs can go just like that. And that's mainly for transformation. They can also pull out slightly. And that's also for when he's in Voltron mode. All right. The mouth. Let's go ahead and put... Them. They are on two separate pieces. I just happen to have uh, him made into Voltron. I just took him out of that position. That's why the Voltron face came down. But There's the inside of his mouth. As you can see, there's a little missile in there. The missile is non-removable. It can open all the way. Uh, it can go down that far before Voltron's face starts coming down. Alright. Now, if you, most of the time when we saw Black Lion in the original series, it was like this. On a few occasions, he was flying like this. Okay, you can do that. You can also do it like that if you wanted. But let's go ahead and put those back. Let's go over some of the sounds. So this Keith, the voice of Keith, we will defend this planet. it does sound like Neil Ross from the 80s and 90s series. Um, if it is or not, I don't know. It, it's very likely, though, that it is Neil Ross. Lotor, your evil forces will never defeat us. Yeah, see, that sounded like Neil Ross, who did the voice for Keith. Back in the 80s, the original uh, Defender of the Universe series, and Voltron the Third Dimension. Hagar's Roe Beast is about to have a bad day. Form Voltron! Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, I want to show you something cool. That This is why I only bought the Black Line. One other thing, his tail does move. It's on a soft ratchet. But anyway, the black line, the classic 84 black line, is compatible with the legendary Defender lines. Now, I posted this on my Instagram account yesterday. I think it's pretty cool. Doesn't quite look as good as uh, the uh, actual legendary Defender Voltron or the 84 Voltron, but it's a nice mix between the two. So anyway, when forming Voltron, 
bring the legs back just like that straighten them out all right bring the wings up fold the tail in you'll raise up the shoulder cannons which that's exactly what those that area is for in the original series is shoulder cannons. Um, bring the paws up, close it, just like that. Close it. Bring it around. Bring it around. So now, let's go ahead and turn this on while we do this. All right. Form, feet, and legs. Form, arms, and body. Fit to go, Keith. And I'll form the head. Ready to form Voltron. Activate interlocks. Dynatherms connected. doesn't look too bad not bad at all it's a nice cross between the legendary defender Voltron and the original so if you don't have the money to get all five 84 Voltron classic lines and you already have the legendary defender lines then just pick up the black line and you can use the red, green, blue, and yellow legendary defender lines on the classic black line. And I'm guessing, since they're compatible, the red, green, blue, and yellow lines from the classic 84 line are more than likely compatible with the legendary defender black line. Hang tight, guys. It's time to compare. All right, so here we go, guys. We have the classic 84 black line with the legendary Defender black line. As you can see, they are roughly the same size. Um, I do kind of like the build a lot better on the legendary Defender black line. If... I may get the stickers from Toy Hacks uh, to put on this line because I like the look, the I like the crest of the classic black line a lot better than the crest of this black line. Uh, but everything else about this black line, I kind of like better. Um, the horns, the his horns. Uh, are a lot slimmer as you can see uh, it, they just look weird on this one and that's not really how he looked in the cartoon I I know it's it's how he looked in the original fake in the original toy line but I like that better but yeah I like the overall design of the legendary defender black line um, 
a lot more than the boxiness of the classic black line. But in Voltron mode, where you can see the crest, and let's do this for now. So in Voltron mode, I like the look of the original Voltron's face a lot more than the Legendary Defender Voltron. As you can see on Legendary Defender, the blue is really only under the eyes and along the bridge of the nose. While on the original, it's on the forehead and it's black under the eyes. Uh, if they could find a way to merge the looks of both Voltrons, I think we would have the perfect Voltron. Uh, I, I like the stickers that Toy Hacks did. You can put stickers that look like this on this Voltron. And I think that would be overall the best looking design. Now I do like the original Blazing Sword from this Voltron a lot more than this Voltron's Blazing Sword. Which I don't, since I don't have the other lions for the classic Voltron, I don't have that Blazing Sword. But to me... This isn't really the Blazing Sword. Uh, it, it, no. The Blazing Sword has a distinctive look. This isn't it. Um, of course, the wings, when you compare the two, the wings are, I don't know how well you can see that. The wings are a lot longer on the Legendary Defender Voltron compared to the uh, 84 Voltron. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get the stickers for this one and add them on here so it looks more like this one without the boxiness. I will still collect all the uh, lions for this one eventually so that I can have the original Voltron too. And I may think I'm gonna find on eBay sold separately the original Voltron Blazing Sword and use it with this Voltron. Because this, I don't know what this crap is, but that's not the Blazing Sword. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this review, hit the like button, leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. Which Voltron you like better? Uh, what you thought of the classic Voltron Legendary Defender Hybrid and which Blazing Sword you prefer? Um, also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care.